Alrighty then. I'm sitting here literally trying to figure out if I'm going to do the Ryan Madison situation or Twin Flame situation. Oh, Twin Flame is a separation. <coughs> hmm. We got no point in flips. So let me just stick it real quick. Okay. My massive situation is we'll do twin flames and separation immediately after this. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Now I like the divine feminist message, which is very informative. <clears throat> so uh doing deals today and tomorrow, of course. Uh usually doing Monday and Tuesday, but what the heck. Um got a few deals. Check the description box um in these next three videos today, maybe four. We'll see. Um, I know for sure, I think it's like $35 reads I'm doing today and tomorrow. That ends midnight tomorrow. Reads are 65 bucks, regular price. Um, I am doing specials on regular price reading. So if you buy a regular price reading, 65, you basically get two for one. It's BOGO. That'll be going on until Friday. And I think I got another special for life coaching. Maybe just check out the description box. You'll see everything that I got going on right there. Um, head, shoulders, knees, and toes ran real fast. And we're going to get straight to it. It's a divine masculine situation. You check out the right feminines for the feminines that's cross watching who ain't seen in the feminine situation and you coming straight to the masculine. Check yours out first. Plus, it's like I said, it's very informative. You drop mad jewels there. Swords, spades, that's thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology. That's the direction you're going, that's the decisions you're making. Everything starts from the mind, okay? Cups, hearts. Cups are feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are are just indicators of where you're going mentally. Hard mind must be aligned with everything that you do. You ain't half assed decision here. You know what I mean? Rules of hard mind department, the divine feminine, you can tell. We got the wands or clubs. Wands are actions and behavior. These things you're doing, things you've done, not what you're finna do because you ain't did it yet. Right? Wands are the current, the now, the ink. We live in, we learn it, we earn it, I'm speaking, you listen it, hopefully for understanding. What you've done got karma and accountability attached to it. That's a wand. What you're doing has karma and accountability attached to it. That's a wand or a club. What you finna do does not because there's no thing which is a pinnacle attached to it. These are wands. Who's the king of wands? The divine mask. You're the king of actions and behavior. You're the king of the now. You're king current. You know what I'm saying? Pinnacles, which is in your realm too, masculine diamond. Pinnacles are defeat. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Defeat. Defeat, whether they're you're facing defeat, whether you're defeating obstacles or, you know, whatever you're doing, you know, it all starts from the ground. Ground represents manifestation. The mind represents the infinite. Head, shoulders, knees, toes, pinnacles, persons, places, and things. These things you can taste, touch, see, feel in here. All pinnacles have expiration dates. All pinnacles are temporary and all pinnacles will expire. I am a walking and talking pinnacle. This planet is a pinnacle. Internet is a pinnacle. You know, things come and go. And um, pinnacles are manifestations, things you acquire, things you attain, or a pinnacle, P I N N A C L E, a plateau, you know, a, a, a space or moment in time. Let's get the message. <clears throat> Overall energy is fairly important, divine masculine. Bottom line energy is very important to my masculine. And we have your subconscious energy up top. Conscious energy at the bottom. Reminder, feminine. Um, the subconscious role is usually how your divine masculine operates with you. 
like I said, they moving through this twin flame shit subconsciously. So the subconscious energy is very key and crucial in the twin flame demo. His conscious energy is just very crucial in his life. And feminine, you move consciously in this twin flame situation. And, you know, your subconscious is your subconscious. Let's go, buddy. We can start in five minutes. First part of this message, overall energy, we got the four ones. This is twin flame union, reunion, and recognition. Or home. Home is where the heart is. Home is also where the hate is, or some of the greatest become greater. Home is also the four walls you call your sanctuary, your haven, you know, your safe house. You know, when things hit home, you know, it's like things are really hitting home for me right now. <laughs> you know, when things are hitting home or shit feels like home to you. You know, as a personal place that feels like home, it's a vibe, it's a whole energy. You know? But back to the total flame shit. This is union or reunion. You know, coming back home where your twin resides, which is Zion, the four ones. This is also like heaven, the four fifth dimension, the infinite, the real world, I say. Like I say, four cups would be like the matrix, the world. And the world is, this is the four cups representing my card. The world is a temporary space and time where all things expire. Nothing expires in the infinite. This world is just a moment. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience, which means we came from here to experience what we're having here. Once this is done, we're going back here. This is like the source. Not God, but the source. Or it could be coming home. This is your hometown. This is whatever home means to you. Looks like you're coming home. More smoke on that. But the five of swords. Aside from being on your way home or coming home or thinking about home, you're very focused on home too. What home means to you. What home will be. Who resides in your home. You know, home. Home base. HQ. You know, it's time to focus on home. You know, whatever that might be. And like masculine, like I say, for those that's trying to reunite with their twin or on their way to unite with their twin, their main focus is just the home front. Where do we go from here? What are we building? What are we working on? What are we what are we trying for here? Like what what's what what's really going on here? Mass is gonna come looking for answers. Mass is gonna come with structure or looking for structure. That's going to come with a plan or looking to help with whatever plan that you have, Divine Feminine, if this is Twin Flame Union based. If this is just home business, masculine, you really put focus on the four walls you call your shelter. What feels like home to you? Who feels like home to you? What is home to you? What's hitting home right now? Like what's hitting on home? What's coming? What's close to home? You know what I'm saying? Like you're really starting to understand or rebrand what home is to you and really putting a lot of focus on it. So focused on it to where you're kind of distracted, which ain't out here, but I'll get to that in a second. Bottom line, more important than anything in this message, we got the nine of pentacles. This is a great fucking position. Short pentacle breakdown. Eight of pentacles will be like your life in a card, right? Shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, the comfortable bed you're sleeping on, the four walls you call your shelter is in your life. God is in your life. Your twin flame situation is in your life. But eights look cluttery. See if I can find one. Give me one second. The eight of pentacles right there. You go. There you go. This is how your life looked before you got your shit together. This is what life is. It's a great standing. It's a fucking beat. The average person doesn't even have a life. You know what I'm saying? The average person doesn't even have a motherfucking life. You can have everything and have nothing. You can have shitload of pinnacles around. It's like you could be a motherfucking billionaire with nothing in your life. You got all this money. You got all these cars. You got all these clothes. You got all these bitches. You got all this shit, but you really ain't got nothing. This is just clutter. And then you're like a bum in the same situation. You can have nothing and have everything. But just like a bum who can really appreciate his shit, 
and use what he has to still do more and help people and shit like that. You do got the other bums who are like this fucking billionaire, right? These motherfuckers just accumulate shit. These are the little bags and garbage bags and trash. Don't you know it's about bums? They collect trash. They collect items to make it seem like they have things. Just the way millionaires and billionaires do. But just like they have nothing but trash, millionaires, all that trash. That's just elegant trash. Why does the fuck you make it? You understand what I'm saying? But it's still cluttered. You can't fit nothing in a life that you're establishing. What you do is get your, this is you, you're walking, talking pinnacle. You get your life in order. You turn this eight of clutter, eight, in case you didn't know, that represents the infinite. You take this clutter, you line shit up, you straighten some shit out. Guess what? You could put, you could fit two more pinnacles in this bitch, maybe three. You know what I'm saying? You get your life in order to where you can either A, add more pinnacles to your shit, or just take this pinnacle you, you came up on and give it to somebody. You know what I'm saying? To maybe put them on. Put on. Put on. <laughs> Straight up. Listen. Master, you got your life in order. Not only are you lining your life up to Ten of Pentacles, which is a manifestation. Ten of Pentacles came out in the Divine Feminist Message. Please check out the Divine Mas Feminist Message for anything to get that good definition and that good description and that Ten of Pentacles. That manifestation that's happening amongst the Divine Feminist. This is an A. Ten of Pentacles is an A fucking plus. Eight is a B. You are in a fucking great standing Divine Master. At this situation, you can either help yourself or help somebody else. Help yourself or help somebody else. If you don't help somebody else, help somebody in need or help somebody you love. Help somebody you need or help somebody you love. Because put more smoke on this bottom line energy. You got the seven of cups. What you're really lining up is. And this is subconsciously. Because this is a tone funny reading. And you move through this subconsciously and shit. You're getting ready for the pimp cup chronicles. Seven of cups. It's the pimp cup chronicles. Like I said, all my cards have definitions. Many definitions. I just be dropping jewels. People now. You're consciously lining your life up. You know. But what you're not seeing is how you finna really break out your shell. Seven of Cups would be the equivalent of like a metamorphosis. Sevens are all about change. Right? Pimp Cup Chronicles. Six of Cups, that's like the sauce. That's your steeds. That's your essence. That's what makes you you. We are all saucy. We all got the sauce. We all uh, are loved by God. We all are blessed by God. Everybody has a fair shake here in life. No matter how you were born. No matter how the fuck you came up. We are all fucking equal. But what you do... Seven of Cups is differentiate yourself from everybody else. We're all clones. Be a clone with different hair. Be a clone with tattoos. Be a clone with a different path and a different job. Like, yeah, we're all the same, but we're all different and have an identity. It's up to you to I to establish your identity. You know? Ace of Cups in my deck is self-love, self-respect, self-realization, self-identification, self-realization. Y'all saucy, but differentiate yourself by everybody else from being self-aware. Seven of Cups is the Pimp Cup Chronicles. And why do I call it the Pimp Cup Chronicles? Why are you lining up this whole energy? Pimp Cup Chronicles, Seven of Cups, is the energy of, uh, like I said, you remember when we was kids, we had pizza parties and shit. And the ladies every Friday. And, uh, you know, you get pop and pizza. <clears throat> And we were geeked about this shit, you know, when they roll in the TV and it's like, ah, oh, we ain't gonna work. They were really gonna spend all day watching Titanic. So it's like, um, or Selena or Twister, like I'm an 80s baby. So that's the shit we was watching, like them early 90s, mid 90s, uh, mid 90s, late 90s movies and shit. So, you know, one day I just decided to spice it up. You know what? I go have my mom create me like a pimp cup. You know, be dazzling. I'm like, Mom, make me a cup so I can sit every pizza day. Seems like we're having a pizza day every week. Because, you know, if you read a certain amount of books, you get a pizza day. So every week we grind it so we can make sure we have a pizza. Like, we all on one accord. You know what I'm saying? We working to have a day just like this. But me, you know, just like a clone amongst everybody else, six of cups, just decide to get my own flavor, my own originality. I know pizza day coming Friday, so every Friday, at least I got a cup to sip out of. Pizza day come, they roll the TV in. All the kids are geeks. 
Everybody passing out motherfucking plastic cups. Meanwhile, Daniel goes in his motherfucking backpack or his, you know, the desk that used to come up and shit. I reach out my desk, boom, got a pimp cup. Everybody, ooh. Like, you're the king for the day because you thought of something very original and people are seeing your thought. It was something that was inside that you fucking manifested in the exterior. Your pimp cup. You having fun watching the movie, everybody's complimenting you on your cup. A lot of motherfuckers mad that they ain't come up with the motherfucking idea. And you know, it's pizza day every motherfucking week, so boom, next Friday roll up. What you think? You know, you think it's sweet. Motherfuckers passing out paper cups, you know, you go on your desk, pull out your pimp cup, and guess what? Everybody pulling out pimp cups in this bitch. Everybody got one. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you. Biting ass niggas, man, like, and you put your pimp cup up and pick up a styrofoam cup. It went from you to be the first person to introduce this shit to everybody. Now everybody doing it, and you back on the pepper cup. Fuck it, man, I can't have nothing. That's the world, they're biters. But it's flavor, and the world needs that shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I'm saying all shit to say this. Masculine, you are an originator. I tell my twin friend this shit all the time that he just cannot fucking believe. I'm like, dude, you're influential as fuck. You have influence. You're smart shit. You really have, your input can really matter. I think people should hear what you have to say. I think people should know your story. I think people should, I think you can coach people. I think you can do what the fuck I'm doing and more. And I think you have it in you. Like, you're a great fucking person, man. And you, you know, you're a super nigga. You ain't no nigga. You're a super nigga, man. Go out here and do some super shit, Nah, man, you always want the spotlight. You know, I'm a humble man. I ain't out here trying to get accolades like you. Like, I ain't in for the accolades. Like, this is a purpose base. What the fuck I do? I'm just saying. You have influence, man. Utilize it. Don't function. You, uh, the shit you go to and attend and shit, once you do your own shit and have people attend your shit, like shit like that. This man's not coming up with his own something, or at least realizing his influence, realizing that he is the one. Like, he is, he's super, he ain't no regular motherfucker. He knows his worth, you know? Aside from lining your life up to really head home and be home and really have a good sense of home. Because wherever you at, don't feel like home. Love ain't living where the fuck you kind of reside currently and shit. Like, it's a big shift that's happening. Seven of Pentacles has changed. You already made your mind up and made the necessary changes. In fact, you aligning yourself up for a whole other manifestation. Aside from all that, you starting to see who you really are. Like I said, shit your divine feminine have been telling you for a while. Divine feminine have been telling you you ain't a regular nigga, you a super nigga. Divine feminine have been telling you about your gifts and your abilities and how you change her into a whole new creature and how you can change other people to a whole new creature. You got the sauce, man. You got that. You, you, you got it. You walk around here like you won't have it when you are it. You walk around here like you average when you super person. You a fucking superman walk around this bitch like Clark Kent. Feminine been saying that shit, but now you starting to understand why. Cause subconsciously coming to this reading, we got the eight of cups. Like I say, it's a process. Six of cups. You know you saucy. You know, you know you got some in you. You just like everybody else, you don't think you're better than everybody else, but you know you're different. And you know you got something to contribute and give to the world. Four cups is the world. It's something in you that you're going to give to the world because they fucking need it. Whatever this idea is, invention is, program is, company is, product, service, whatever the fuck you fin to enterprise on, which is the eight of cups by Patty Bell card. But aside from Patty Bell card, it's enterprise. It's a two-part card. But this is enterprise. It's taking something that you had, an idea that you had, like whatever the fuck your pimp cup was, and capitalizing on there. To now, you're doing what you love to do and making money off of it and helping other people at the same time. You're selfish and selfless at the same time. Selfish and selfless at the same time. You're enterprising, but you also giving back. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So, like, wherever the fuck you currently at, whatever relationship you currently at, wherever home you currently at, it's like they don't want you to enterprise. You're the king of wands. You're the king of actions and behavior. You're the king of making shit happen, and it's like you somewhere with your wings clipped. You somewhere caged in. You somewhere on a motherfucking leash. That is not home. 
at home, you can roam free. But you're divine feminine, you can be your fucking self. Like, there is no ceiling or no limit. Uh, like, there's no limit when you fuck with the infinite or your divine counterpart. Wherever the fuck you at, which is probably the world, the you know, the matrix, or like I say, the karmic you with or your karmic situation you inside of something, you know, it ain't, it ain't got the same rhythm. It ain't got the same vibe. It ain't got the same signature of, of where you could be over here. Really, where you're focused. Like, your main focus is over here. Home. The, nigga, the divine. You know what I'm saying? You know, not where you're currently at. Enterprise. Whatever you got going, enterprise. Be somewhere where you can enterprise. Be somewhere where you can be yourself. Be somewhere where you can fucking flourish, man. Don't put a plant in a corner in the shade where there's no sun. Put the motherfucking plant close to the sun where the light is at. The light is what gives it its life. The light is what gives it its light. You're in the darkness. Get out the darkness. You're not being heard right now. You're not being seen right now. You're not being relevant right now for a fucking reason. You obviously in somebody cage, somebody trapped, somebody demo. This ain't your shit. And you have the freedom or have the choice or have the time or have the resources to exit this shit. Enterprise. This is capitalizing on a situation. It's definitely going to benefit you, but definitely benefit others. Going back to the Patty Bell card itself. I call this the Patty Bell card because look at Patty Bell as a person, as an artist, as a singer, as a woman of God. Compare it to other divas in the game. Look at Patty Bell and look at all the other divas in the game. It's people like Patty. You know, you got your Indy Irish, you got your you got your people. But really take a close look. Compare her to everybody else. What you're gonna see is the divinity part. She don't do secular music. She don't just do secular music. She do secular music, but she do gospel music too. She keeps God in everything that she does. She's very relevant, even at her age. She's very seasoned. Whether that's her having her own YouTube channel at her age, or her being on Dream Champs at her age, or doing verse battles at her age. Like, age has nothing to do with the prosperous shit, the enterprising shit she got going on. She got Patty Pies, my nigga. You know why I make Patty Bell so successful? Because she's divine, number one. She keeps guiding everything that she does, and she's enterprising. When you have your integrity up to par, when you're divine at all times, that's just one part of it. And you choose to enterprise, you can't lose. But consciously masculine, you're starting to see that. Because consciously, you got the three of pentacles. This is building. This is you and somebody else doing some shit, building together. Give me one second. This is the bridge. I ain't really broke this down in a long time. I gotta check my door. I got trash my leg and don't even be using that shit. I don't know. I'll take my own trash out, plus, you know. Stinks till they pick it up. The bridge, the, the bridge. Three of Pentacles is the bridge. This is you and somebody else doing some shit. The bridge ran. I'm gonna keep it short. If you fuck with somebody, they better have something to bring to the table. If you fucking with somebody, you better have something to bring to the motherfucking table. Anybody that steps in your cipher, your face, your space, your home. Anybody steps inside your shit with nothing to offer, with nothing to bring but themselves, shake them like fleas off a motherfucking dog, son. Ain't no motherfucking free ride for shit. Hey, it ain't equality either. You got, you know, men and women for the heteros out here and shit like that. Even if it is a female, she better have something to bring to the table. She better have something to add to this ministry that is you do. You know what I'm saying? That's just the first basis on building. Two, the bridge. Nigga, we've been learning how to build with people since head started. This is an 18 and over channel. He is grown as a motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? You knew in motherfucking head start. 
who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. Who was cool and who wasn't cool. You read vibes and energies and all that shit. Babies know who not to fuck with. Just like dogs know who you should not fuck with. Dogs give out a warning. You know, your dog is fucking friendly and nice. And then you got a person that walks up and your dog is just... Uh, it's like, yo, he don't trip over nobody. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, some chill energy, dog. It's like, yo, baby, yo, baby, you be cool. Dealing with family members or whatever, you know, but it's like one particular person, baby, just, mm-mm, like, nah, like, I don't, I don't, I don't they crying like, he's just like, I don't even want to be nowhere near you. It's the energy, it's the fucking vibe. We knew it's babies, we knew a head start, we knew a motherfucking middle school. You remember middle school? Probably when you got to your first fight. <laughs> Right when you kind of got approached at or motherfucker, you know, when niggas was going steady back then. This is when niggas had wee wees. You weren't even fucking back then. You know what I'm saying? It was just like going steady, just having a girl to experiment and touch some shit with. It'd be like, you remember how that was? Trying to connect, you know, stalling, stuttering. Yo, homies, nigga, go spit that game, man. Or uh, what niggas used to say? Pop the question. <laughs> Oh, it pushed me in front of the chick. I'm trying to get at Like, I'm already, like, I'm in my Mac mode. I'm trying to, you know, approach her and get on that. My niggas just push me on her ass. Nigga, pop the question. And I'm just, what they talking about? Like, yeah, like, cool. I'm like, saying, like, hug and shit. You know, like, kiss her. Go to market. Go to market. Go to market. Hey, like, nigga, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? We've been building with motherfuckers since adolescence, cuz. Teenage years, motherfucker. You knew who to hang with and who to stay the fuck away with from high school. Because you seen who was downward spiraling. And you seen who was at least going to prosper. Whether that was even on you. College. Or the army for some. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get there. You know who to trust. You know who to build with. You know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. Your early 20s. Your first roommate. Your first fucking real relationship. You've been building with motherfuckers since a, a kid. How the fuck are we growing this shit? Some of the late 30s like myself, some in their 40s, some in their 50s, some in their 60s, some are 70s, and plus, still don't know how to build with a motherfucker, still don't know how this bridge shit go. First of all, you only build with a person that can put you on. That's why I got something to bring to the table. At least with something to the table, we can build more. Even though we a couple, we still two individuals building on something. If you get yours and I get mine, then we can get ours. Isn't yours inside ours? No, excuse me. Isn't ours inside yours? The bridge. This is how you correctly build a bridge with a person. Like I said, we on our journey in life. Boom. It's like you get to a cliff. This is where you are. This is where you're trying to go. And the only way you can get here is with another person. We can't do shit by ourselves. And I ain't talking about relationships when I say we can't do nothing without someone else. This is the bridge. This is how shit works. It's a canyon. You need to get here. You can walk down this mountain and then have this person throw you a rope. Or you can communicate with this person and y'all can talk and see how y'all going to build a bridge. Whether the bridge is motherfucking nigga 30 feet or 3,000 feet. Whatever the distance is, there's no distance that two people can't cross. You understand what I'm saying? Like, side note, let's go to medieval times. Let's go back in the motherfucking Venetian period. Nigga, let's go back to motherfucking biblical times, ancient times, man. Back in the day, if you had a love of your life, there was so much distance in between you two. Might be a two years, three years before you see the love of your life, before they strolled up on their motherfucking horse to woo you and do whatever the fuck that they do. You know what I'm saying? There was no cell phones, nigga. There was no internet. There wasn't none of that shit. Wasn't no trains, wasn't no motherfucking planes, and automobiles, motherfucker. It was horseback and foot. You understand what I'm saying? Shit was way more real back then. Shit was way more real. It's fake as fuck now, man. The way people connect through social media, like social media, like it, the world's littered with fake ass connections, false ass connections and shit. Even people's intent for fucking with you is false and fabricated. The average person is coming to use and abuse your ass, to take the pinnacles you got, suck that shit up, use that shit up, and go the fuck on their way, to connive and lie just to get in your fucking cipher to build with you or for you to give them the fucking shit that they need. Listen, choose the right person. You choose the right baby daddy. 
choose the right baby mama, you choose the right wife, you choose the right friend, you choose the right business partner, you choose the right people. How do you choose the right people? You build with them. And from building with these motherfuckers, you know what you need to add or subtract this fucking pinnacle. You can always go to another person. Bank don't want to fuck with you, you can always go to another bank. This motherfucker don't want to partner up, you can always go find another partner. This motherfucker don't want to help you, you can always go to another motherfucker. This door shut, you can always go to another motherfucking door, man. It's, gosh, you don't have to just settle with anybody. Build it. If you want to build motherfuckers, build correctly. Fuck with somebody that got something to lose. Don't fuck with nobody that, I don't know, just magically appeared in your life and everything is perfect and they're stroking your ego and you're hearing everything that you want to hear is too perfect. Fuck all that. Do they got something to bring to the table? Do they have a plan? Are they on some shit? We grown-ups. Y'all better stop acting like y'all don't know how to, you know. I didn't know you could do this to me. I didn't know they, you know. I didn't really know him like that. Like, I just, maybe I rushed into you. You can make all excuses in the world. That's what level three is for. So, you know what I mean? Get to level four. And this is, um... You consciously build with somebody, right? So the whole enterprise shit was subconscious. You know, the whole coming home thing, you know, twin flame situation, you lining your life up, you finding what's inside. Like, all this shit is kind of like subconscious. What you're consciously doing is trying to find the best person to build with. Because it seems like you're building with some place or someone or something, and this shit ain't, it ain't, it ain't clicking. This shit ain't, you know, this ain't the right fit. Right? So we get to the four of pentacles. It's a process. You're trying to build, it ain't twerking. Okay, four of pentacles. This is holding on too tight to some shit or letting something go. It obviously ain't working. Let this shit go. Don't let it become a box or a fucking trap or this person becomes like an ankle weight. It's like here's the weight and this is the leash that's on your ass now. You know what I'm saying? From the building process, you'll know if you're building with a successful partner or not. That's why you do it step by step. You don't skip steps or run steps or have any ill intentions or be on finesse mode. Masculine, subconsciously, and this is in the feminine role. You have the four of pentacles. It's a particular feminine you need to let go. More smoke. We got the ten of swords. This is death or a permanent ending. Death or a permanent ending is what the ten of swords is. We talk about the ten of wands with the feminine. We're talking about the ten of swords now. I told you it was two endings. Temporary ending with the feminine head. Permanent ending what you got right now. So, whoever this feminine is you're building with, if you do not let them go, they are going to kill you. And I don't mean that literally. Like, they're psychopath killers and murder. And fuck no. It's it's a, it's an analogy, right? To the source is death or permanent ending. Permanent endings, death. Can be represented by a divorce. Ten of swords. It's like you choose to marry this person, but they are already gonna divorce you. Like divorce is already out here. Even if you ain't married, this feminine yet. It's a psychic. They get cards are coming out. At the end of the day, it's div divorce. Let this person go. They have ill intentions. They just trying to lock you in to 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 put the final blow on your ass. You know what I'm saying? This is a contract. This is the end of your freedom, the end of your reign, the end of, it's like whatever the fuck you got going on. It's, I'm telling you, this is how people really operate, man. They get in to where the only way they can get out is legally. I watch karmics take people homes, take people children, take people fucking freedom, man, legally, from the building process. When you could have just let these motherfuckers go, you wouldn't even lost. This is permanent lost shit that's over with. That ain't never coming back no more. You would have kept your life. You would have kept your life. You would have kept a lot of shit. I told you, permanent would fucking kill your ass. Literally. Insurance. I keep telling people to get it because, like I say, go fund me to pay your funeral. That is tacky as fuck. But let me tell you what's a big fucking scam out here, man. It's getting, motherfuckers getting insurance on people and then kill them. I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, this is a psychic channel. This is not my state. Fuck all that. I'm here to drop jewels and give you motherfucking insight, motherfucker. All right? Listen. It's big business getting insurance on motherfuckers and wiping them out to where you get the... You know what I'm saying? All I got to do is got to die for you to get some shit that you already had planned on. 
not only is that maniacal, not only is that precognitive, that's a that's a crazy point. Literally, I know a chick in the neighborhood that not my neighborhood, but in the neighborhood I'm familiar with. You know, she's got four life insurance policies on the drunks and crackheads in the neighborhood. Mainly the drunks, because you know crackheads live forever. They're like four drunk, very unhealthy, very soon to become dead motherfuckers. She's got life insurance policy on. <laughs> And I'm sure they're going to go in a way that is going to be very beneficial for her. Maybe that's sick. Maybe that's fucked up. I don't, I don't know. I mean, everybody got their hustle. You know? Everybody got their motherfucking hustle. It's like a motherfucker that's counting on you to die. So they can get your benefits or some shit like that. You know? I will put it past the people in the world. This could be death. Maybe being with this person might be your fucking demise. Who knows? Death is mental too. That's something you register. But this looks like divorce. You know, my fuck just marrying you just to get in. I don't know, get in the country. I don't know, become a citizen. I don't know. Um, in your bank account access. I don't know. And it's like they're going to clean you the fuck out. They're already with you with a fucking plan to leave you high and dry. Shit you would have noticed in the building process, but you know, that's, aside from the insurance scams, man, people killing their parents, people killing their kids, fucking money. This is where we at, in life. aside from all that shit, like, anybody in your face and in your cyber has a, a motive, and, um, What is that shit called? A motive, ulterior motive, a mo motive and something else. Intention. Anybody in your face has an intention or a motive to be there. I mean, just fucking coincidence. The only fucking coinkydink coincidences, Disney, out of this world, crazy type shit that happens is amongst twin flames. They're the only motherfuckers you really meet that you didn't know you was going to meet. And it just adds to the whole effect of twins coming together. Like, that's a whole other thing in itself. Other than a divine counterpart, yeah, and everybody just going to fall out of the sky and shit. Maybe they were already here waiting on you to be with them or for you to kind of register to see that this is the person you need to be with. But everything happens for a fucking reason. That's all I want to say. Moving on. Uh, and that's just subconsciously. You need to let this fucking feminine go before it kills you. We ain't talking about your divine feminine, Cuddy. Cuddy, you know, might be your mama. Might be your daughter. I know some daughters that, you know, take care of their motherfucking old man, and it seems like their health is just fucking tanking under the care of their so-called loved one. All of a sudden, they did quick as shit. When, when they was by themselves, it was a prolonged life. I was like, motherfuckers is poisoning, motherfuckers. Man, I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's the real world. I don't know what fuck world y'all living in. I don't know what Nama State channel y'all gonna watch it, nigga. Y'all better keep your antennas up on how people really operate in this bitch. It's 70% karmic, 28% divine. So in seven times out of ten, you're gonna meet a dud before the bomb. Seven times out of ten, you're gonna meet a fucking karmic before the divine. Seven times out of ten, you're gonna meet a motherfucking person who's gonna put you in a bad situation or put in you in a bad relationship. Or you can, nigga, seven out of ten is not gonna be, it's gonna be whack, basically, before you find something good. Which means you're going to have to go through a few relationships to get the good ones. Which means you're going to have to go through a few fuckheads to get to the real ones. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just like, I'm just speaking figure by figure. As far as yourself, consciously, when it comes to the feminine. Ten of Pentacles. This represents a master manifester, alchemist, a person that can manifest whatever the fuck they want, when they want. You know, a creator, you know. Or this represents a karmic masculine. So, karmic rant. <clears throat> like I say, if you're dating or engaged or married to a karmic, you are in a karmic situation. Say you marry this karmic feminine and she has your name. Okay, well, you become her. You are a divine masculine, a king of wands, but because this karmic is your queen, you are her king. She's a queen of pinnacle. You're a king of pinnacle now. She's you, you, her, y'all are one. This pinnacle represents the banner, the crest that is you two. 
It's a thing. That's you know, marriage makes y'all a thing. The money, the structure, the setup, the demo, whatever the fuck. The main reason she's in your life, player. It's a thing. If she is the reason she's here. It's the reason you want her. Shit. You could be all in it to win it, love her unconditionally. She could have a fucking plan. She does. If it's a karma. You know? Like I said, you... You still a line. But now you on a karmic path. Say this is your karmic feminist plan all along. You on her plan. Like you wearing her banner. You doing what she's saying. You the king, though. You got a queen running your motherfucking ass. How does the divine feminine treat you? Like a super motherfucker. They, you know, they treat you like a king. They let you have rule. They let you have authority. They let you have influence. They let you do what you do. Your divine feminine doesn't try to change you or clip you or keep you from hanging with people and all that bullshit your karmic feminine be on, which it's control. And it's control on another level. Your feminine don't try to control you at all. Meanwhile, your karmic feminine tries to control you all the time. Little type shit. Did you ever stop to think that it's because of a bigger plan? It's called intent. It's called motive. It's little control now. Big control in the future. She's clipping your wings right now. She's going to cut your wings off later. You're already getting groomed to set boundaries to the people who really need to be in your life. Thus, she's alienating you. And it ain't just her. He could be a she. She could be a he. You know what I mean? The stages of control. Motherfuckers in, in, break through you. It's, it's in the building phase. Whether it's a psychopathic murderer or a vampire, nigga. Like I say, you allow people in your cypher. You allow people in your face. You allow people in your home. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was an invitation. Whether they're for your good or for your bad, you should have checked them at the Three of Pentacles. You should have peeped their temperature, checked their temperature well before they got comfortable made themselves at home in your fucking home or you made yourself at home at their home which is really a fucking trap like what four pentacles whatever it is let that shit go separate yourself you're only with this karmic feminine for a fucking pinnacle that she provides and since you keep taking from this pinnacle since this pinnacle is fucking everything to you it's become you what has become of you you ain't even super no more you went from superman to car kent to fuck with a lowest lane when you could have been fucking with a storm or a rogue. You know what I'm saying? Or a motherfucking cat woman. Like, instead of fucking with an extraordinary counterpart, you want to choose a regular one because of your subconscious need to feel accepted by everyone. Shit, that sounds like a downgrade. But moving on, uh, as far as yourself, player, <laughs> pimp, you know what I'm saying? You got the five of uh, cups. This is you subconsciously when it comes to your damn self. Oh, going back to this karmic masculine business. If that ain't your situation, you ain't with your karmic and she ain't controlling you or got, I don't know, control over your ass the way I'm saying and shit. Well, this is, like I say, you want to manifest some shit with your divine counterpart. You want to make union happen again or reunite or come back home or whatever the fuck. This is you doing what the fuck you want to do. You can do it. That's least I guess what it can represent. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You can literally buzz a move that's going to make you the happiest person that you can be at the expense of, expense of other people's feelings and emotions. You can live the life that you really want, that you truly want to have with the person you truly want to be with. And the only thing that's keeping you from really being happy is being accepted. That shit, whack. You chose acceptance over happiness, though. Like, that shit makes sense to you. That's worth it. Like, okay. That's crazy. At any rate, uh, because of that choice you're making, if you choose to be accepted over being happy or being happy, subconsciously, which you don't see with yourself, you're going to alienate yourself to a fucking... You're going to be an island. Five of Cups, this is the Hermit card. This is also loneliness or emotional isolation. That's your future. You're literally with a karmic feminine. But your future is you being alone. And dead in a way. Like, this is, like I said, this is energy of an of NBA basketball wife. 
Look at most of these basketball players, athletes, entertainers. She comes in, she wipes the nigga, check. Has a baby by the nigga, check, check. Divorces the nigga, ten of swords, and takes half or gets that, you know, four to five figures a month deal. Finally got me a baller, man, so I don't have to work at the mall again. Ill intentions from the gate, but you would have peaked if you was thinking or focused as focused on this karmic feminine as you is on the Twin Flame demo. Or you the wife feminine, you will be like, bro, you going to have a moment very isolated. Because I'm like I say, in the process of them executing their fucking plan to where they're going to be gone anyway. You chose this person and made an obviously bad choice. It's going to leave you alienated and isolated. Not just from the world, from this fucking shit you just went through with this karmic feminine, but you cut yourself off from the feminine. I told you. You groomed and pushed and, and, and smacked your feminine. Every time she tried to reach for you, you know, you, you, you created, you made your, like, you created this island, bro. You alienated yourself. From home, from your divine counterpart, you know you did this shit, bro. Anybody fuck with you? You allowed all this shit to happen. You chose to be with someone, and now you're alone. You chose to, yeah, good intentions, but you see it's ill intentions here. Like at the end of the day, and you still got time. You're gonna see, hopefully before the end, that you're really stepping into a situation you don't need to be in at all because consciously you got six of wands this is wins victories and celebrations gotta pick another card we almost done two of wands wins victories and celebrations through actions and behavior which you're the king of two of wands represents work like work grinding putting that work in you really working like, you put work into this current situation. You put work into your divine situation. You put work into yourself. You've been working your ass off. You know what I mean? Towards something. You was lining your life up. You found something in you. You can finally enterprise. Home with your divine feminine. Union with your divine feminine. Reunion with your divine feminine. In the manner that you want to be unified is on the fucking horizon. Everything, like, you really... Consciously and subconsciously, but really working. And because of this work, you're going to get everything you want. And you can consciously see that. You can consciously see the end point. It's like you choose your kind of feminine and you really work at this shit to really try to get it the way you, you know, want it to be, or at least what you thought. Only for this current feminine to either expose him or herself, or you peep their plan. And it's like you peep it and you separate from their ass and you save a lot of time, money, energy, and resources from being focused on the shit that matters and not the shit that didn't this whole time. And it's like, I told you, you changed lives. The karma this karmic feminine finna get from crossing you. Especially when you really had, like, you, you really love this girl. So the ones I'm speaking to, I ain't talking to all the motherfucking masses. I'm talking to some. You really love this girl. You really try to make this shit work. But like, God works, man. Like I say, truth always gonna come out. Nigga, light always trumps dark, dog. Like, you, you, you chosen. You, you want a guy's judge, bro. God always gonna look out for you. God always gonna expose fuck shit, you know? It'd, pay, it'd be better if you pay attention to what the fuck your divine feminine was telling you, because I'm pretty sure your feminine warned you about this, told you about this before seeing this shit, and you just been paying no attention. But it's like you catch it. You caught it. And now you actually win. You can actually win out here. Like, you can actually win. You can really see yourself being truly happy. But it comes at the expense of this three of swords going into your future subconsciously. Shit you don't see, but don't have to see to know what's going on. Three of swords is pain. Pain is mental. It's something you register. Pain is basically going past the point. Going past the point of no return. I told you eight of swords is essential. Two of swords is options. Free will or a fork in the world. There's only one way, and that's up. That ain't down. You know what I mean? It's up. 
We're already on the ground, nigga. We already at the bottom level. Ain't nowhere else to go butt up. Going, you know what I mean? You want to go to a hell that don't exist? That's cool with you. You want to go on a whole other dimension outside of the fucking infinite? That's on you, too. We got options. We all have free will. You know what I'm saying? But it gets to the point where you're going to have to make a firm decision to go in the way you're being led. To go past the point of no return. You know what? I see everybody going left. I'm going to go right. It's the road less traveled. But I think it's, you know, the right way. It ain't even about right and wrong. It's just your path. Where the fuck is your path leading you? To the left or the right? Yeah, everybody going left. That don't mean it's the right path. Yeah, the whole world going left field. That don't mean, it, you know what I mean? Go right. Only one right way and that's up. Go up. And then make a firm decision, because it's a sword, to stay in the right direction. We're human, man. We flaws. We fuck up. It's just the energy of... You knew which way to go from the gate, but instead you chose to go another way. Went in a whole motherfucking circle, only to get back to where the fuck you was at in the first place. Maybe going back to your divine feminine. Boom, you make another deliberate choice to not fuck with your feminine, to not go up, to go your own way because you got free will, only to go in two fucking circles to end up back in the same spot for the third time. I think I'm going to go the right way this time. Yeah, you think? <laughs> It should have took you to go in two motherfucking circles for you to see that this is the right way, but hey, people learn different from other people. You just swore that's pain. You could be happy. You can have a whole life that you want. It's only going to come at the expense of hurting someone's feelings or emotions. Not intentionally, but with the truth. <laughs> truth sets you free. Why? You ain't got fake no more. You know what? I can't do this. Uh, you know this, 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 this ain't gonna work. I don't wanna do this. I'm not even happy here. You, you know, I, I thought this. The grass is green over here. Like I, I thought this was a good decision. I see it's not. Like you know, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be good. But I'm asking. I mean, I can't speak for this karmic though. I can't speak for the you know the people who ain't gonna be happy that you ain't in their Loop anymore. Who knows, man? Who cares? Because going to the future consciously, you got the ace of cups. And this is self love, self respect, self admiration, self realization, self identification. Going back to the building process, you're only going to build with a motherfucker who got this energy down packed. Your divine feminine has this shit down packed. You're getting this shit down packed. Your karmic feminine did not have no type of motherfucking A4 attachment to this energy. Ace of cups. Last message and we're done. For now. Uh, I'm going to do separation later tonight. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, that's self-love. You learn to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Know what love is. True love is. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have a divine counterpart to show you unconditional divine love. Love you'll never get on this motherfucking earth. If your feminine wasn't here, you wouldn't have got it. Feminine, vice versa. Love yourself because you can go on this whole planet, this whole time you're here on this earth, and not get no love from no fucking body. It's a person who actually came on this earth and didn't get no love and died without it. But guess what? I bet they had love in themselves. I bet they loved other people, though. You know what I'm saying? Just because people ain't giving you fucking love don't mean, you know what I'm saying, that you ain't got it in you and can't give it to nobody else. That's their fucking complex. They don't understand what love is, so of course they can't love you. You can give them unconditional love, but it don't mean shit, because when it comes to love, just in general, they have no idea what it is. Self-respect. You got to respect yourself. So you can fuck with somebody who got some self-respect with them, too. Can't fuck with people who don't respect themselves. I tell you, they, they're a danger to themselves and others. And that others could be you. Respect is earned. Motherfucker don't want to respect you. You ain't got to respect them, either. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't have to fight for somebody's respect, somebody's admiration, somebody's honor, they should already have that in you to recognize it in you. If a person can't recognize the respect you got for yourself, which is why you move any way you move, then they ain't the type of friend or the type of person or the type of instructor or the type of coach or the type of psychic you fucking need in your life. Self-identification, you gotta know who the fuck you are so you can recognize a person like yourself, your divine counterpart. Because if you know who you are, you can recognize yourself and your twin. A twin know who she who the fuck she is. A lot of her is you, and she sees a lot of her in you. You be a she, she be a he, you gotta be right. Know who you are, so you ain't sending mixed signals. 
Self-realization. The ace of cups is too. Know your path and purpose in life. What you're starting to find out right now. And that's what really the issue is. What you're aligning in in life, the direction God taking you is far away from this fucking karmic, but kind of in the same place where your fucking feminine is. That's the message I got. Stay tuned for more messages. Please check out the Divine Feminine situation if you ain't checked that out yet. Please take advantage of these deals while I do have them. I will see y'all tonight. One.